I'm standing here in the Scottish Legends Racing Garage. Very impressive one too. All the cars getting ready for the weekend. Uh, with Andrew Donald, Scottish Legends Drivers Representative. Welcome, Stuart. How are you doing? All right. Yeah, very good. Um, it's going to be a bumper year for Legends. So looking good for, the, for uh, Sunday. It's looking absolutely fantastic, Stuart. It's probably the, the biggest grid and the biggest uh, registration of the championship in good five or six years. Yeah, it's looking really healthy. And obviously you've been put a lot of effort in over the winter to help stir up the drivers. Are there new ones on the grid this year? Yes, uh, we've got uh, three newcomers, complete novices to Legends Racing. Um, we've got John Critchlow, he'll be out in car 86. We've got uh, Mark French, he's in car 30, just finishing off the stickers on his car just now. And uh, Burnett's are running a guy from Southern Ireland, I believe. So yeah, it's exciting times. And what is it that makes Legends Racing different from normal? There's obviously three races, but um, how they race, where they start in the grid is totally different from conventional racing. Yeah, completely, Stuart. It's basically handicap racing. We do not qualify. Uh, we draw a number of tennis balls out of the hat. That determines the first uh, heat grid. The second heat, um, that's reversed. And in the final, there's an addition of the points of the first two heats. Um, the guy with the highest score, obviously the quickest guy, he'll start off the back in the final, so it's all close racing. And if you've got the fastest off the back, I guess there's loads of overtaking. A massive amount. You probably get more overtaking in one race of legends than you do the whole season of Formula One. Cool. Um, on Sunday, uh, who, who do you think are the favourites for the, the top three? Right, we've got up the front, going to be quite interesting. Obviously, we've got returning champion John Patterson. John's quick, no matter what he sits in, whether it's his rally car, his legend, his Ducati motorbike, he's quick in everything. Uh, we've also got Ben Mason, um, six times, five, six times Scottish champion. Uh, David Hunter, always nibbling at John's feet, trying to get past him. Ivor Greenwood, the old timer, 72 years of age, still one of the quickest guys out there. So it's <laughs>